coming to the topic electrophilic substitution reaction accompanied by the double bond shift my name is pooja b msc second sem department of chemistry nangere university coming to the content uh, here we'll be having firstly the introduction about the topic secondly uh, we'll be moving on brief uh, note of electrophilic substitution reaction accompanied by the double bond shift and thirdly Uh, there will be few mechanisms of double bond shift such as base catalyst mechanism secondly the acid catalyst mechanism and thirdly the metal catalyst mechanism and finally there will be the conclusion about the topic and will be ending uh, the seminar by the reference coming to the introduction uh, coming to the introduction electrophilic substitution reactions are chemical reactions in which an electrophilic displaces functional group in a compound which is typically but not always hydrogen atom uh, we shall study about the substitutions accompanied by the double bond shift so let us begin with some of the introductions that is when a substitution reaction is carried out at an allylic substrate the product we get rearranged based on the thermodynamic stability of intermediate and also the product then we shall move some more into the some more detail of the topic such a, here the electrophilic reactions are possible in both the nucleophilic substitutions as well as the electrophilic substitutions in an electrophilic substitution on an in an electrophilic substitution on an allylic substrate on attack of an electrophile a displacement of double bond occurs leading to the product as you can see in the visual here y acts as an electrophile and this x acts as an allylic it's at the allylic position when the product comes uh, when the reaction comes out as a product here the x place will be x place will be uh, replaced from own position to another placement then Uh, the mechanism of such substitutions can take place in two different path in two different pathways in the first pathway the substitution takes in the first pathway uh, the substitution takes place by se1 mechanism that we know we know the leaving group of first first pathway that is ion which is stabilized ion which is resonance stabilized due to an adjacent double bond which is then later attacked by the electrophile in this equation in this equation x is at the allylic position and this x goes out as a x plus as a leaving group and as a resultant we get the carbon ion and can see these are the two resonating structures and because of this resonating structure species both for the attack by an electrophile so when the attack happens then we get the rearranged substitutions coming to the second pathway in this alternating in this alternating mechanism the electrophile is firstly attacked by the electron rich pi bond leading to the formation of an intermediate carbon cation which then loses a leaving group giving rise to the double bond at the adjacent position so here what happens is in this mechanism as we can see here as shown there is a double bond and in the allylic position it is x then this double bond is attacking on the electrophile attacking on the electrophile which is y plus um, which is y plus here and as a resultant we get the carbocation <coughs> and then from this carbocation you can see the loss of x plus formation of the double bond between these two carbocations as shown mm. uh, these two uh, these two alternating these two these two alternating mechanism these two alternating mechanisms in the first case in the first case means in the first pathway uh, the leaving group goes there a formation of a carbocation which undergo rearrangement and then this is attachment by an electrophile the other mechanism where the electrophile is attached by the double bond and leading to the carbocation this carbocation will be followed by the removal of x plus 
the leaving group and resulting into the formation of a new double bond at the rearrangement position. Now, thirdly, coming to the mechanism of the double bond shift, firstly we have here is the base catalyst mechanism. In this base catalyst mechanism, we will be having the two steps. In the step one, uh, we are having in the step one, we are having an alkene and at alkyl position we are having R and with the base will abstract the proton from an allylic carbon giving rise to the carbon ion and carbon ion undergo rearrangement at this terminal carbon and uh, in the next step we are going to see is what happens in this carbon ion is there will be the further attack of BH plus and as a result will be formation of this product. Here the R is shown in the wavy bond. It is represented that here, here both cis and trans symmetrically isomers are possible. And secondly going to the acid catalyst mechanism. Acid mediated is a two step double bond which has also been reported in the reaction. First proton is gained leading to the carbocation and then another proton is lost to form the double bond. So let us now look after the two step shown here. In the step 1 shown the example of the 1 butene which takes the proton and we see more stable secondary carbocation which is formed in the, sec in the second step. In the second step this secondary carbocation will undergo removal of proton but this time it will give the rearrangement double bond at second position from 1 butene we are going to get this rearrangement 2 butene or isomeric butene. The acid catalyst reactions are much synthetically used because of possible of rearrangements of carbocation um, that gives rise to the multiple side product. Coming to the third one, metal catalyst, me metal catalyst mechanism. Metal ions undergo homogeneous or heterogeneous condition have been used to get isomeric of olefins under electrophilic substitution condition. And these are having the mechanism. In this, one of the mechanism is metal hydrolyte addition mechanism. And uh, here the external proton is required when the substrate form of substrate uh, subtracted from the substrate with the following mechanism. Here the R which is shown it is in the allylic, uh, allylic form and here the presence of the metal such as metal and hydrate this will uh, lead in the addition of M and H which leads to the which leads to the newly formed double bonded we get new intermediate. And in the second, uh, and in the second uh, output, here we see the loss of MH, means the metal hydrate, which uh, even this also gives rise to the new double bond. Coming to the conclusion, the double bond migration. Coming to the conclusion, firstly, the double bond migration in an allylic substrate takes place by electrophilic substitutions as well as the nucleophilic substitution. Secondly, the double bond development can take place as a C1 mechanism with the first carboanion inter is generated or attached of the double bond on the electrophilic with process to carbocation intermediate. The double bond rearrangement occurs to favor the internal alkene over the terminal alkenes. Kinetically, uh, these are controlled cis products predominant due to the cis ally geometry. Then, alkenes undergo bond shift to the anionic aline intermediate. And coming to the reference, I have referred the fifth addition of an advanced organic chemistry uh, by March and uh, Jerry and a few of the internet sources and uh, the library online library of Delhi University uh, electrophilic substitution reaction accompanied by a double shift it's in the module 27 and the book name is organic chemistry 2 thank you